So we invested in wind, we invested in solar, we invested in biomass. We're all about increasing energy efficiency and finding new, renewable, clean sources of energy. We don't yet have the technological breakthroughs that can completely replace fossil fuels. Unless somebody here invents something tomorrow, which would be very helpful. And if you have it, let me know. With all due respect, Mr. President, this is me letting you know. I'm here representing the Vortex-based mathematics project, which was founded by my teacher, Marco Rodin. Nearly 40 years ago, Marco discovered an unknown mathematical language inherent to nature. Now I found the key of how to model it in three-dimensional space. The importance of this discovery cannot be underestimated. With it, I believe we can create inexhaustible clean energy, produce unlimited food, end all diseases, travel anywhere in the universe, build the ultimate supercomputer, and obsolete all existing technology. How is it possible that we make such outrageous claims? It's because we have the secret that connects all the world's technologies into one. Numbers. A living language. A jigsaw puzzle that when pieced together no longer forms an approximation or a rendition of reality. Numbers are reality. Neither imaginary, nor irrational, nor arbitrary. Numbers are actually a waveform that folds out into a 3D shape defining space and time, literally. The shape of a torus, nature's original donut, many believe may hold the key to creating a clean and sustainable environment for future generations. We can tap what has been referred to as the zero point energy, sometimes referred to as free energy, and already the evidence and traces of that exist in very simple home-built technology. This technology has been around for centuries. In this demonstration, we're using a 12-volt battery which feeds into a simple circuit that creates a sound frequency. That sound frequency is then fed into the coil and then it comes out in the form of usable light. Now the important thing here is that we're able to light 98 LEDs at a fraction of the energy consumption that it would normally take to light around 8 LEDs. So we're getting 90 more LEDs for less energy consumption. We stumbled upon the, the vortex math of Randy Powell and Marco Rodin and began to expand on their concepts. This technology is not to be privatized or owned by any individual or corporation, but is instead our desire to open source it to the public. And in the process, to make a film documenting the construction, the development, and the investigation of both the math and the technology. The problem is not the lack of a collective desire for a positive future, but the lack of a collective vehicle for positive actions. Humanity doesn't have to have a dark future, and it's not going anywhere that we don't steer it. We have a technology in our hands that can boom the market of alternative energy, solar cells, and electric vehicles, and change our world forever. We have already achieved the impossible. But now we need your help to make the impossible an everyday experience. What we have is the grand unified field theory. With it, you can create an exhaustible free energy, end all diseases, produce unlimited food, travel anywhere in the universe, build the ultimate supercomputer, artificial intelligence, and obsolete all existing technology. And with it, you can do all the functions of all the branches of math instantly. It displays a perfect spin symmetry of numbers forming mirror images just like our two hands a feat that's baffled countless scientists and mathematicians. When you look at this symbol, you immediately see it's composed of two aspects. One is this lazy eight, or the infinity symbol, and the other is the red pyramid at the top. The infinity symbol is the equation for the physical world we live in. It's a circuit or a pathway of motion. Six numbers that form a hexagon. Thus, such diverse phenomena as light polarizing, beehive, Saturn's north pole, and snowflakes are all versions of this hexagon. These shapes form pathways for any matter in motion, which is never straight, but always at an angle. Nothing in the physical world ever moves in a straight line, not a bullet shooting, not lightning coming down out of the sky. Everything is a coil, even a photon coming from a distant star proving relativity exists. Our body is called this mortal coil. Our DNA is a coil, and it's no coincidence that it matches our equation perfectly. It makes us into a vortex machine that sucks things in at the top, 
and shoots them out at the bottom. Our bodies are toroidal systems, our planet is a toroidal system, and all vortex energy works in the same fashion. At the center of electricity is magnetism. At the center of magnetism is a flux. It's a higher dimensional energy known by many names such as dark energy, tachyons, monopoles, gravitons. We call it etheron energy. It's the energy that's keeping us conscious and alive. And it's not a static or stationary energy. It's a pulse. It's a surge. It's the beating heart of all existence. It's the ultimate fundamental particle in the universe, the God particle, and I know how to harness it. This energy is the source of all time, motion, and vibration. It's the only thing that comes from the whole, or the zero, the center of the cyclone. It emanates linearly in all directions, penetrating everything without any resistance. It cannot be shielded. As it penetrates, it leaves a grain. It shows you how things move, how they stick together or come apart. It animates everything. It's the source of the non-decaying spin of the electron. If you combine it with a coil, you get a perfect mathematical vortex, consisting of a positive electromagnetic energy radiating out and a negative backdraft counter space, which is the same as gravity. It allows for contraction. Etherons are literally the glue that holds the universe together. Einstein called it an inertia ether. Ultimately, when this is arrayed in true 3D shape, which is what I discovered, it forms a shape commonly known as a torus or a donut. This experiment you're gonna watch while I finish my talk, I want you to keep in mind when you're watching this magnet spinning around, there's no energy going into this coil. It's totally turned off. And I'll continue. Your blood cells are a torus, DNA is a torus, magnetic fields, galaxies, all toruses. It's a one-way living systemic electrical machine, a self-sustaining jet, you might say a flying saucer. I found the way to calculate this torus in a perfect 3D, 4D, and higher mathematical hologram that can be scaled up and down to infinity, and which we now call the Abha torus, or sometimes we refer to it by Marco's name, which is the flux ruster, atom pulsar, electrical venturi, space-time implosion field generator coil. <laughs> and with it, it's possible to create a localized space-time implosion, a controlled desktop black hole. That magnet's still spinning. There's no energy in the coil. This is the final technology, the Philosopher's Stone, a reactionless drive unaffected by any weight that it carries. It's a true model of an atom, and with it I have the key to the periodic table, which a professor from the University of North Carolina told me could be the greatest scientific discovery of all time. We can, for the first time, cross from one science to another, unbroken, whether it's subatomic physics, periodic table, computer science, DNA. Remember, I said cure all diseases, artificial intelligence, all the result of etheron flux fields. And so simply put, this torus does it all. It's a blueprint for a perfectly efficient magnetic field generating coil, a spaceship, a surgical tool, a supercomputer, and even a high fidelity speaker all in one. Are such things possible? Frankly, yes, they are. And my team is ready to develop them at any time. What you see here was just from the most primitive approximation of my work. But the truth and the reality of our project is it suffered from a tremendous lack of attention. It has been peer reviewed by some of the best names in science. But because of our unwillingness to sell it out for private interests, it remains in the hands of exhausted volunteers like myself. Our goal is to create a grassroots energy and technology revolution by turning this information, this knowledge, over to the public in an open source project. Science museum exhibits for kids, a simple book, a simple DVD. That's all we're looking to do. And by that, we want to turn it into the hands of the people to produce and save uh, the whole world. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs>